Fans get a great show. You know what I'm saying? So we've been in here grinding, grinding, grinding. But we, it's been a party for the last two days, 24 hours. Oh, my goodness. You know what I'm somebody, somebody better call ready. somebody. You hear me? Hey, come somebody on. Better tell somebody hours. to tell it's somebody. It's about to be a problem. Nigga, yesterday's price, I'm not today's price, all right? So y'all got them promoters. Hey, don't even come at them low balls no more, nigga. We up. We out of here, nigga. You hear me? We're going to get a video. Yeah, what's happening? We up in this boy. He's going digi. Oh! Hi, you guys. So I wanted to come on and touch on the verses from last night. Um, so I knew, I was like, the minute I saw DJ A1, I'm like, okay, tonight's going to be one of those nights. <laughs> the minute I saw him, uh, um, I could tell. So, you know, I'm surprised. I, I said, like a lot of people were saying, I said through all of that, um, I feel like, however, they could have put this on two separate nights. Like, they could have given Ray J, um, Bobby, and the other guys one night, and then Amarion and Mario a separate night, because I didn't, I wasn't expecting that first part to go like that. I thought that it was going to be a lot shorter, and they were just going to come out and, you know, quickly run through some of their songs, you know, like people can recognize the songs that they're singing and then they just go back and forth like that, you know, but that was like a full on versus battle before another versus battle. And so that didn't make sense to me for them to do that that way. And then you had all this commotion going, all this chaos, people talking about they didn't want to get off the stage and they're not being respected. 
you knew that all this stuff was going to happen before you accepted this setup, right? So, you know, that it was that it was just a lot going on and the people on Twitter they just had me tickled. They was creating those memes so fast. <laughs> it was uh, it was a lot going on. It was a lot going on. I Like I've said in the past, I don't like all the, the bickering, the talking, the nastiness that goes back and forth between people, regardless if they're playing or not. Um, and sometimes it don't really sound like they are playing. It sounds like they're serious, but they, you know, this is versus situation is giving them, you know, an excuse to say certain things to people, right? Um, that's kind of how it feels. And it definitely felt like that last night as well. You know, the whole thing where they wouldn't go on and let Ray J get his one wish moment (laughs) was hilarious. However, you know, if he was the one who kind of put this together and made that possible for them to even have that, they should have given him that time to do that. Like, I will have to say, I agree with him on that. Um, and there was really nothing really he could do about it. Um, so I think that's why he just kind of let it go. Um, but yeah, that was, it was like people were saying it was that, that was really ratchet that whole, and you can tell, right. You guys can tell, let me know in the comments, you can tell that there's nobody actually controlling these shows because somebody should have been there to get control of, of all of that, all of the talking. It was just way too much talking and as much talking as they were doing, they could have been singing all these songs that they kept claiming they have, right? If y'all wouldn't have been doing all that talking, you could have been singing, right? It was that part for me as well. Um, it was just too much talking, too much going back and forth. And then they kind of start insulting, you know, verses as well. And so it was a lot. It was definitely a lot going um, on top of insulting each other. Um, it just came off chaotic. Um, but as far as the music part of it, I enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed Bobby V and um, Pleasure P. Because, you know, I like, I guess I listen to them. I still listen to them today. <laughs> the music that they put out. So uh, I enjoy seeing that. I'm not as familiar with Sammy like that. Um, I think he might be, he just might be too young for me. I don't know. And then, um, child Ray J. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. <laughs> anyway, so I, yeah, moving on. And then Brandy was on the side. Everybody was, you know, making jokes about um, Pleasure P dedicating that song to her. Like, of all the songs, like, why that one? It was just weird. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I was I was really tickled over here. I was laughing so hard last night. I couldn't even try to attempt to put this video together. I was like, okay, I'm going to wait until tomorrow and do it. Um, so, yeah, and then just going into the second part, um... I didn't, I think in theory, you guys, in theory, this is my opinion, right? I don't have nothing to do with Versus, so they're going to do what they want to do. They can do it how they want to do it. But this is just my opinion. I feel like in theory, um, the Amarion and Mario matchup was a good idea, but to watch it, it wasn't. It just wasn't. It wasn't a good idea. I think B2K against uh, Pretty Ricky would have been the better matchup. And I think I said that in their comments or in somebody else's comments a long time ago. Like, if you're going to put these groups up against each other, that's fine. Uh, I think Omarion is a group singer, number one. Um, he And Mario is a more of a crooner, right? He has more of that pure R&B sound. And it just didn't match up with what Omarion uh, brings. Now, looking at them, right? Looking at them, they're both young, attractive-looking guys and because they can both fall into this category of R&B, it makes sense. But to really listen, it did not make sense to me at all that that was going on. <laughs> so I was like, what is going on, child? And then Amaria had way too many antics, way too many antics. And to try to, to mask that, you know, there was a difference between them. And it, and it just wasn't, they should have just put the groups against each other. And like a lot of people were saying on Twitter, if you were going to do all that, bring on all these people and have all these antics going, you should have just had B2K come out, right? And because they were a part of your career, I don't know what their relationships are looking like or whatever, but it just would have made sense to see the group, right? Like, and like I said, it should have been pretty Ricky against B2K. 
And I think that still would have covered that, that whole era, right? Um, and yeah, like people were saying on Twitter, maybe Lloyd would have been a better matchup for Mario, right? Um, I I just didn't think last night made sense to me. And, but I sat through it. I'm not gonna lie. I sat through like a lot, of, a lot of people were saying on Twitter. I can't believe we just sat through all of this. But I did. I really sat through all of that. The only thing, for whatever reason, I feel like I missed was when Tank was singing Oh, because that's my song. So I was like, how did I miss that song? I'm a, I guess I got up to do so. I don't know. But I didn't, I has, I saw that, literally had to see that, watch that on Twitter. Somebody had made a meme about it, and that's where I saw it. I don't know why it didn't come on for me, or maybe, like I said, I got up and it just that quick it happened. I don't know. But, um, yeah, you know, you had to... Tank is out here talking about he want to take over the show. You got J Jeremiah out here. You got um, Tommy, the clown, and the crunk kids. And I really felt like that because they were in L.A., that would have been a good idea to have them out with DJ A1, you know, Tommy and the kids to come out then uh, to kind of keep the crowd entertained. Um, I just feel like Amari, uh, um, yeah, Amarion had way too much stuff going on. And um, for Mario not to have any of that <laughs> to offer, uh, it didn't make sense to me at all. Um, and that's just my opinion. I think he has a song with Summer Walker. Maybe he should have had Summer Walker come out to bring it down a little bit to more of an R&B feel. Um, because like I said, their styles are very different. And to watch that, you can really see it, right? You can definitely see it. And I also thought in the past, and I know because now they have this audience and this, these people are paying for these tickets, maybe that's why they're making people sing a little more. Um, but I feel like if, you know, they could have allowed him to kind of sing with his tracks, you know, and just kind of come in with a cup of notes or whatever. I'm speaking of Marion. Um, because some of that did not say, just wasn't pleasant to the ears on top of everything else that was going on, like the watermelon and, uh, you know, and I think people should understand things that work in a tour setting do not necessarily work on TV or on film. Right. I think you guys get what I'm saying with that. Like uh, some of this stuff don't work, um, in the way it would work in a private show at, at a concert Right. It's just not. Um, yeah. And what I feel like that's probably something that he's done on tour and he just thought that that was going to make sense to do that at at, <laughs> at this, um, you know, at this versus. And, and it just wasn't. Um, it would have been better for him to come out with B2K, you know, period. Um, let me know what you guys thought about it. Did you think that um, what did you think about the show just in general? Uh, did you think they really should have just gave Ray J his moment <laughs> with the one wish? Um, you know, like I said, I'm not familiar with Sammy, but he sounds, he has a nice voice. He has nice, I, I did not know his songs though. So that's how I'm like, okay, he must be like too young for me to even pay attention to. Cause you know, some of these people, I'm not even going to pay attention to them. Like, I'm just going to keep it real. Uh, and it's not anything against them. It's just kind of the age thing is like it's a little too far for me <laughs> for me to even like pretend um so um yeah I don't know let me know what you guys thought about the show um and which just all of it the watermelon the Ray J moment um the whole back and forth between I feel like that Mario and Mario and back and forth like the talk it came out very personal as well, right? It just came out personal. Um, yeah, it came out personal. Like they were really saying things that they really probably always wanted to say to each other. And that's why I said, I said this even with the rat. I mean, they was, it was more stuff. It was more antics going on than it was with those rappers, right? <laughs> like the rappers had was in more control of themselves than the, the R and B stuff that I'm you know people that we were watching last night and so that with that said, you know um, it felt personal. I don't know if it is or not, but I see that they do have another show together on the twenty ninth in D C. 
of next month. Um, so I don't know what's going on with that. But let me know what you guys thought about it. Um, I don't think I need to say who do you think we won because I don't, you know, I, I, everybody's supposed to be a winner in this. We're supposed to be celebrating uh, Mario's body of work and Mario's body of work and all these other folk that was on <laughs> as well. Um, it's just the it's just the way it was presented. That's my whole thing. But let me know what you guys thought. Do you think they need to start having some show handlers? I feel like D-Ray, the comedian, I guess because he was the host, maybe they thought that his presence would cause, uh, I don't know. But it, it was just a lot going on. A lady was up there crip walking <laughs> to her. A1 was out there acting like he was an act. <laughs> it was just a lot. It was a lot. I was, I was entertained. That's all I got. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in the next video. And King O, man, I love you, brother. Shout out to Marion and Mario. You know, you top five for me, man. I'm one of my favorite singers and vocalists, man. It was beautiful, positive vibes, man. It's all love. Trust me. I know I was gooning out there, but no more.